Good day, grade 8 students. So this is teacher Vivian again. This time I will teach you on how to graph linear equations using slope intercept form and intercept form. But first I will teach you on how to graph the following linear equations using the slope intercept form. So we have 2x plus y equals 5. We also have 3x plus 2y equals 8 and 5x plus 2y equals negative 6. So we'll apply these steps on graphing linear equations in our number one example. So we have 2x plus y equals 5. So the first step in graphing is transforming the equation into slope intercept form. So we need to transform this one into y equals mx plus b. So just copy positive y and then transpose 2x so that would become negative 2x and then copy positive 5. And after that one, identify the slope and the y-intercept. So in this given, the slope or m is negative 2. And if it is a whole number, the denominator should be always 1. Then for our b or the y-intercept is positive 5. And then the coordinates of that is yung x is always 0. So you have 0 and 5. And then here we'll go back to our slope for the direction of our graph. If the numerator is negative, you will go down. And then if the numerator is positive, you will go up. Okay? So here, because this is negative, so we'll go down two units. And for the denominator, the direction is always going to the right. Okay? If it is negative or positive. So we'll have to plot 0 and 5 first on our Cartesian plane. And then we'll use the slope to find the another point okay we'll have to plot this one zero and five so that is located on what positive y-axis so you have zero and five one two three four five okay so this is point zero and five and then we'll use our slope that is negative two over one so we'll go down two units one two then go to the right one unit. So this is the second point. Then after that, connect the two points. And that would be the graph. Okay. So this is the graph of 2x plus y equals 5. Ma'am, do we need to identify the coordinates of the second point? No, kahit hindi nang identify. Okay na yan. Basta tama lang yung pag-plot nyo ng coordinates and then pagsunod nyo ng direction ng slope. Okay, we'll have the second example. We have 3x plus 2y equals 8. So, we'll transform this equation into slope-intercept form. So, we'll copy 2y and then Transpose positive 3x, so that would become negative 3x, and copy positive 8. And after that, divide the whole equation by 2. So you have 2y divided by 2 is y, equals negative 3x divided by 2 is still negative 3x over 2. And then, 8 divided by 2 is positive 4. Okay, here, we can identify already what is the slope and the y-intercept. So, the slope here, or m, is what? Negative 3 over 2, or 3 halves. And then, the y-intercept, or b, is equal to what? Positive 4. And the coordinates of that is 0 and 4. And after that one, we'll plot 0 and 4 first and we'll use our slope that is negative 3 over 2 to find the another point. Okay, what will be the direction of the graph if we have negative 3 over 2 as our slope? So, we'll go down 3 units kasi negative yung numerator and then ang denominator kahit 
negative or positive always go to the right so we'll plot first 0 and 4 in our Cartesian plane so 0, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 so, so positive 4 man siya so dapat sa, nasa positive y axis siya so we have 0 and 4 and after that we'll go down how many units ito 3 units so baba kayo na tatlo 1, 2, 3 and punta kayo sa right ng dalawa 1, 2 okay. so ito yung second point after the one, connect ninyo yung points. Yung two points na yan. So, that would be the graph of the graph of 3x plus 2y equals positive 8. So, we have number 3 as 5x plus 2y equals negative 6. So, transform the equation into slope-intercept form. So, we'll have to copy 2y equals transpose 5x. So, that would become negative 5x. And then, just copy negative 6. And after that, divide the whole equation by 2. i sorry. <laughs> so, you have 2y divided by 2 is y. And then negative 5x divided by 2 okay cannot be so just copy uh, copy that one 5 negative 5x over 2 and negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3 okay so that is already written in slope intercept form so this time we can identify the slope so the slope here is what so that is negative 5 over 2 and then the y-intercept is negative 3 or the b. And the coordinates of that is 0 and negative 3. So what would be the direction of the graph if we have this one, negative 5 over 2. So you have to go down 5 units and then go to the right 2 units. Okay? So we'll plot that one on our Cartesian plane. So we have this. So 0 and negative 3. So that is located on what? On the negative y axis. So you have 1, 2, 3. So this is 0 and negative 3. And we'll use our slope that is negative 5 over 2. So baba kayo na. Lima. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then, going to the right, 2 units. 1, 2. Okay? So, ito yung second point. So, connect the two points. And then, that would be your graph. So, that is 5x, sorry, plus 2y equals negative 6. Okay? So that's all for graphing linear equations using slope-intercept form. Okay, next we'll have to graph the following linear equations using the second method or the other method that is the intercept form. So we have two given linear equations here. 3x plus 2y equals 12 and we also have 6x plus 8y equals negative 24. Okay, so we'll have to answer first or solve first the number 1 given, that is 3x plus 2y equals 12. Okay? Based doon sa binigay ko na material sa inyo, we have the following steps in graphing linear equations using intercept form. First and foremost is uh, substitute y equals 0 on our given equation. So, we have 3x plus 2. Yung y na yan, papalitan na yan natin na 0. Equals 12. Okay? So, you have still 3x. Just copy that one. 2 times 0 is 0. So, therefore, yun na natin yung kopyahin. Proceed na tayo dito. Equals 12. So, ngayon, may, we have only 3x equals 12. So, ang gagawin natin dito, we divide the whole equation by 3. So, we have x is equal to, kasi 3x divided by 3 is x. 12 divided by 3 is 4. 
So, meron ka ng x equals 4. So, yung first point mo dito, x is 4, then ang y mo is 0. So, yun yung first point mo, 4 and 0. We'll have to find the another point by substituting, uh, substituting x equals 0. Okay, so you have 3, yung x na yan, papalitan natin ng 0, plus 2y equals 12. So, ngayon, 3 times 0 is what? 0. So, therefore, wala na yan. So, just copy positive 2y equals 12. And then, after that one, divide the equation by what? 2 or 12? By 2. Kasi yun yung number attached with y. So, you have 2y divided by 2 is y. 12 divided by 2 is 6. So, ngayon, what would be the coordinates here? So, we have x is 0. So, mauna tayo x and then ang y natin is 6. So, we have points 4, 0, 0, and 6. Yan yung ipa-plot natin sa Cartesian plane. Okay? So, we'll have this. So, pwedeng mauna ito i-plot or ito. Nahin natin yung 4 and 0. So, saan yung makikita ang 4 and 0? Sa positive x-axis. Okay, so dito. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, ito yung 4, 0. Okay. And then, ang 0 and 6 ay makikita natin dito sa positive y-axis. So, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, this is 0, 6. Okay. So, after that one, connect the two points and that would be our graph. Okay, nakita ninyo? Madali lang na, diba? So, 4 and 0 dito. Then, 0, 6 nandito. And then, connect the two points. That would be the graph of 3x plus 2y equals 12. Okay? Okay, we'll have the last example on graphing linear equations using the intercept form. So, we have the given 6x plus 8y equals negative 24. So, substitute y is equal to 0 on our given. So, we have y is equal to 0. So, just copy 6x and then plus 8y papalitan ng 0 is equal to negative 24. So, you have 6x, just copy that one, and then 8 times 0 is 0, so just proceed to is equal to negative 24. Excluded na yan, kasi 0 naman yan. And then, after that, divide the whole equation by what? By 6. So, you have 6x divided by 6 is x. Then, negative 24 divided by 6 is negative 4. And then, after that, uh, find the first point. So, you have what? Negative 4, kasi yan yung x. Then, ang y natin is 0. So, that would be our first point. To find the second point, we'll substitute x is equal to 0. We'll use that 1. So, you have 6 times 0 plus 8y equals negative 24. And then, 6 times 0 is what? 0. So, just continue. Proceed to 8y is equal to negative 24. Then, divide the equation by 8. So, you have y is equal to negative 24 divided by 8 is negative 3. So, our second point is what? Our x is 0. Then, our y is negative 3. So, we'll plot negative 4 and 0. 0 and negative 3 on our Cartesian plane. Okay? So, we have this. Negative 4 and 0 is makikita natin dito sa negative uh, x-axis. So, you have 1, 2, 3, 4. So, this is negative 4 and 0. And then, 0 and negative 3 is a negative y-axis. So, you have 1, 2, 3. So, this is 0 and negative 3. Then, after that, connect the two points. And that would be the graph. Okay. So, this is the graph of what? 6x 
plus 8y equals negative 20. Okay, so that's all students. Okay, thank you.